I remember meeting you in your the, the first studio we saw. It was like a studio apartment, which is uh, one room, not one bedroom, but just one room for the whole apartment, probably about like this big, right? Yeah, 27th and 3rd Avenue. And there was just paintings everywhere, like on the bed. Um, yeah, every surface was covered with paintings, and you and Phil, like Phil would just point to a painting and start laughing, and then you would start laughing, and then he would start laughing. Oh my God. It was pretty beautiful. So when did you move to New York? Like early 90s? Oh, 98, okay. Yeah. yeah, right after Art Institute of Chicago. Mm. And then you were in that little, um, you're painting in your apartment, and then did you have a studio after Oh, that? I had a studio at 195 Christie Street, where those galleries are now, in that building. I was in there for a oh, while. Yeah. And then I was out in Williamsburg for a while, on like Bedford and North 10th or something for a while. I was in those places first, then I moved it back into the apartment. There was no money. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, then my parents like totally cut me off, so then I moved to Flatbush. <laughs> and then you had that Caton apartment uh, studio. Yeah, the studio on Caton. Yeah. And then now I got the new studio in Rogers. Okay, so you asked me to ask you about symbolism. Um, let me think if I can remember. Obama, emojis, and uh, hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. Yeah, symbolism like patriotism, or like, you know what's American or what's Belgian, because this is like my b painting for Belgium which is waffles, beer, chocolate, and bananas, and cigarettes. Hieroglyphics, like I guess writing. that was like, yeah, the first use of like symbols in the world or whatever. To or tell maybe, a story or. Yeah. So then now it's like modern day like emojis, like people use emojis to like communicate instead of talking or writing, they just use a symbol. So I was kind of making these paintings for like four years, but emojis weren't that popular then. No, but now I think they're super yet. popular. So it kind of fits in with like emoji symbol paintings. It's kind of funny that it went to pictures from words, like that you can now go back to just using pictures like cave painting or something. And what about the banner downstairs? I remember you making that in your, well, t first, what, what, how did the, the kind of tapestry fabric pieces start like it was probably four or five years ago yeah right? so it started maybe like five years ago it was all about like going to the thrift store and buying fabric and all the junk and clothes and everything by the pound you know for like 10 cents or whatever so I always had all these fabrics and like old clothing and stuff to use so then I was and then I was like what am I going to do with this I'm going to cut it up and like make a like a, a collage Oh, and I started making those when Khalifa was born because for some reason it was easier to just cut stuff than to paint. Uh -huh. It was like Less easier. Messy. Yeah. yeah. So I started making those then, yeah, I guess like six years, five years ago yeah. then. Yeah, so then, but then it all kind of became about Flatbush, like the African prints, like the, the fabric stores on Flatbush, like um, the carnival costumes, because this guy that makes carnival costumes in the building gave, donated like all these huge bags of all his scraps because he makes costumes. So then we had all this like sequin stuff and like all these flashy, neat fabrics and stuff like that. So then it was kind of like a mixture of like Flatbush Avenue collages. And then this, this one, watching this, the big one here in your studio, I remember that we were talking before that, that it was, you kind of had started this huge thing and then after the bombing here, it kind of changed the, like you yeah, went well, I back went back into, into, it. into it and like totally changed it and added more stuff to it. Because I remember people being like, well, I like the Obama part. I was like, okay, I'm going to add more Obama stuff. And then I started to add, I added the whole Pac-Man. I was like, how can I add more symbolism in it to like relate to the painting? So then I added all the Pac-Mans and the ghosts. Then I added like the hourglass to it, the banner around it too of like the mosques. And then there's also the hand of Fatima in it. So it's like this huge like sim symbolism thing related to like quilt making, America, um, like G's Bend but then also kind of political because Obama's in it 
and there's like masks on it and stuff like that. And that thing, I mean, the one thing in your studio is like when you when we walked in, there was just every surface of the studio is covered. Is it good to see the paintings in here? Like, do they look different? When you go to the studio, it's just pattern. It's literally pattern on every single surface in the whole studio. Yeah, it looks kind of out of context here. And like cl too clean or something. <laughs> Almost boring. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring in some carpets. But I like it. I mean, now you can like really see them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, we were talking coming in. It's like they're, they're so graphic that in the craziness of your studio or when they're in photos, you really just see the graphic. And it's not till they're, for me, like coming into the gallery and seeing them by themselves, you just see all the, the detail and all the, the kind of the subtleties to them, which you don't maybe get in a picture. And it's how physical they are. What other painting in New York right now or anywhere are you turned on by? Oh, well, I guess the whole booth that we just curated at Freeze. So Todd Bianvenu, Alicia Gibson, like Elizabeth Ferry. Who else was in there? Oh, Gerasimos. Just like that real like physical, like yeah. raw, like real painting, like lots of paint. No, I was like really influenced by Impressionism and like Claude Monet, because at the Art Institute of Chicago, like, they don't teach you anything. They don't tell you anything. And that museum is filled with Impressionism and Claude Monet. So, like, I thought that was, like, modern art. Like, I didn't know that there was, like, an art scene in New York or that there was, like, contemporary art. So on my first trip when I came here for the first time ever, like, a month or two ago, I noticed <laughs> that Smurfs were from here. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm going to make Belgian Smurf paintings. 